I absolutely love Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein The New Order is in hot competition against Doom for my favourite game of all time. Well, with E3 having finished last week, the announcement of Wolfenstein The New Colossus has got me right back into the mood to play a bit of Wolfenstein. So today, we're going to head back to the old blood to take a look at a couple of easter eggs. These are both dead easy to find because they're both in the very opening chapter of the entire game. The first easter egg can be found right as you disembark the cable car. Heading over to these vending machines you'll be able to notice a very familiar soda up for sale. Yes indeed, it's none other than Fallout's very own Nuka-Cola. Do you know what, I'm actually going to use this as proof of a Bethesda multiverse. And in fact, the next easter egg ties in with that too. A little later in the mission, you'll come across a large office space. Nestled tidily on one of these desks will be the iconic iron helmet from the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So, you know what? That's all the proof I need. Bethesda Multiverse confirmed. This helmet even appears in Doom as well. Maybe one day we could have, say, a Rick and Morty style adventure through the entire Bethesdaverse. A boy could only dream. Oh, anyway guys, there you go. They were the Fallout and Skyrim easter eggs in Wolfenstein The Old Blood. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I was a bit strange. But don't let that stop you from hitting that like button, leaving me a comment, and of course subscribing. I've been the Royal Gorilla. Over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bad easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla Even bigger than the giant Godzilla Follow him in every game he goes da, da, da.